Today I have found the best use for cookies in Hypixel Skyblock, a consistent way to farm money, combat XP, and gain actual experience levels at an incredible rate. This does not require any luck, and you can do it by yourself. And this is something that will work forever. If you enjoy what you see, and haven't already, make sure to like the video. And also subscribe for frequent Skyblock videos. Ring the notification bell for extra magic find and pet luck, check the description for all the goods, and join my Discord. With over 1,800 members, it's one of the best servers out there. Thanks, and the blue screen should be taking over now. Hello, all you fantastic people out there, and welcome back once again to Hypixel Skyblock, where if you can't already tell what I'm going to be going over today, well, you should probably delete your profile, throw all your items in the void, and restart. No, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't actually do that. Today, we are going to be revisiting the old trick that everyone used to use, pearl spamming. But today, we're doing it much different because Skyblock has added some new items that make it so you can actually pearl spam completely by yourself. And we're going to be seeing just how effective this is and what you need to actually be pearl spamming correctly at maximum efficiency. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So for those of you who haven't played Skyblock maybe in the last week, there's been a massive update called the Community Update. And what this has done is it's added a new shop on the actual Hypixel store where you can buy gems and stuff. And with these gems, you can buy cookies. Or if you're lazy like me, just go to the bazaar and buy a cookie for like 800,000 Skyblock coins. I'll see, I'll show you all where it is right here. If we go over to the bazaar, you can go to oddities and there's a booster cookie. Currently, you can instantly buy one for 811,000 coins. And what the booster cookie does is it gives you all these unique buffs. The first one is 20% skill XP. This is skill XP for your like, you know, your skills. It's 20% for every single one at the same time, which is absolutely crazy. Then more magic find. And most, most importantly, is keep coins and effects on death. This means when I die, if I go to uh, the dragon's nest right here, if I die, I will not lose any of my coins and I will not lose my potions. This makes it so we can actually pearl spam without requiring someone else to throw pearls for us. We can do this whenever we want and as often as we would like. So the very first thing you're going to want is obviously uh, ender pearls. And ender pearls, you know, they're super easy to get. You just whack some endermen with your uh, sword here and get your hotbar to fill up with ender pearls. I would recommend filling all seven slots that you can with your ender pearls. And in your first slot, you can have your weapon. My per uh, my personal favorite is going to be the Raider's Axe because it gives you 20 extra coins from killing a monster. Check this out. We kill this Enderman over here. And watch my coins. Ready? Boom. Yeah, we, we get we get a lot of coins. Since I have Scavenger 4 on my Axe, I get a little over 100 coins every single time I whack one of these Endermen. And that's really useful because when you're Pearl Spamming, you spam and you spawn a ton of Endermen. And those Endermen will end up giving you lots and lots of coins when you slay them. So you're absolutely going to need a Raider's Axe. I would recommend trying to max out the one, uh, like the kills on one. As you see, mine has 266,000 kills. And it has hot potato books. Obviously, don't put odd on your Raider's Axe. I don't know why mine's on odd. It just happened to be on odd when I was recording this. Now, the next thing you're going to want is a combat boost potion, a pet luck potion, and a uh, magic find potion. And you can actually get these really easy now. If we do slash AH to action the auction house, you can do that whenever you have the cookie buff active, which lasts four days. You can go to a tools and miscellaneous and just search for God. And in there, you'll see the God potion. And if we go to lowest bin, it's about 600,000 coins. And it gives you 24 hours of full God potions. I mean, every single one. And if you would like to turn some of them off, go to this menu, toggle potion effects, and you can enable and disable whatever potion you would like. So if you don't want magic find for whatever reason, or if you don't want haste, you can just turn them off. As you can see, I have burning and stun turned off because I would recommend turning those off when you're pearl spamming, since they can get in the way, uh, be annoying, and create invincibility frames on your endermen that you don't want. The most important potions to have is the combat boost, pet luck, and magic find. The combat boost is so you actually get more experience when you slay an enderman. So yeah, if I throw one here and I spawn an enderman, uh, you get about 40 combat XP, and if you go down to actual where you spawn 9,000 health ones, you'll get about, I think it's 46 XP. Yeah, you get 46.7 XP every single time you slay one of these, assuming you have the combat boost and the cookie buff active, which is very nice. Now let's talk about the actual method of pearl spamming. I would recommend finding a platform down here that's relatively large. 
Um, a good one is just finding one as far down as you can. That's really, really wide. Take this one, for example. This one's all right. Hold on, let's not die. Uh, I personally like these couple. Uh, I think they're both really, really good. And this one's really nice. So you want to make sure that there isn't anything really above your head. So when you're throwing the ender pearls, it doesn't like stick to the platform. So as you can see, this is a decent spot. There are a couple different spots, but I don't want to show them all because obviously people will be like, no, no, you, you found my pearl spamming spot. But uh, low-key, this one's, this one's amazing. And the very first thing you want to do is actually go into your accessory bag and make sure your personal compactor is taken off or you don't have the ender pearls. Oh, that's why. As you can see, my personal compactor converts ender pearls into enchanted ender pearls. And we don't want that because then you don't have any pearls to actually throw. Looks like someone over there is pearl spamming too. But the next thing you want to take off is your combat sack. As you can see, I took my combat sack off. This is so all of the ender pearls go into my inventory and my hotbar, so I can constantly be throwing them. So let me just get a couple ender pearls here, and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so my inventory is now completely full of these ender pearls, and what you want to do is basically try and pick a spot in the map where you won't fall off. Since when you're throwing ender pearls, uh, as you can see, they'll kind of vary a little bit where they're going. Just look straight up and throw them as straight up as you possibly can. And then all of the Endermen will appear around you. And with your Raider's Axe, you just want to whack them all. If you have a Daedalus Axe, technically that's better, but uh, who has one of those anyways? And really, the whole point is just to uh, spawn and kill as many Endermen as you can. You'll be getting a ton of uh, experience levels because you're slaying monsters. You'll be getting a bunch of coins from your Raider's Axe. And you'll be getting a bunch of combat XP from slaying Endermen, which is always, you know, it's the perfect three, the three that everyone always wants to be constantly grinding. And you can really just see how many Endermen that really just build up here. And whenever your hotbar clears out, just go ahead and whack some of these Endermen. And I would recommend making sure your Raider's Axe has Cleave. Now, normally people wouldn't want Cleave on their weapons because, I don't know, that's just what people in Skyblock do nowadays. I would recommend putting Cleave on your Raider's Axe if you really don't want to and you don't have full superior, then you can wear the pufferfish hat, and that will actually do the same exact effect. But if you do have superior, obviously you'll have 5% more magic find and pet luck, which is always handy when doing this because you can get ender armor, which sells for about 40,000 coins each. And you'll probably get multiple pieces of ender armor like every single ses session because you're slaying so many endermen, and the chance for ender armor is pretty, pretty high actually. So especially if you have like 137 magic find like I do, uh, it's definitely not the most difficult thing to try and grind. Hold on, there's someone that's about to try and take all my kills. No, you don't. No, you don't, Mr. Long John Bob. Oh, hey, there we go. How convenient. We got an ender chestplate. Just made another 40,000 coins right there, which is really, really nice. And obviously, since you have the cookie buff, all of the coins will be saved. And same thing with all of the potion effects. And lastly, of course, this part is kind of RNG based, but you could always get a legendary enderman. I mean, the chances are pretty low, but... It, it could still happen, and that's a free 33 million coins if you if you get one. So, uh, if you're doing this for the long run, chances are you'll get a couple legendary endermen over the course of a few days or weeks or whatever it is. And as long as you just want to keep grinding something, like combat at levels or experience levels, this is always worth doing. It's not the best money-making method, but it's definitely going to be consistent. And the other uh, two things, the combat XP and the enchantment levels, are definitely worth it. If you want to go for maximum coins, you're just feeling especially lazy, you want to turn on a show and just pearl spam while you're waiting, pick yourself up a high level epic hound pet. This is because the hound pets, you could even get a legendary if you really, really wanted, but the uh, hound pet has the scavenger ability, which obviously makes you have a higher coins per monster kill, as you can see. And it also increases the chance to get ender armor, which is really, really nice. So you can just grab, you know, just the cheapest hound you can find on the auction house and just use that with it. Alternatively, some good pets are the Black Cat and the Ender Dragon because it gives extra magic find and pet lock. Some last general tips I would recommend when pearl spamming is find something to do while you're pearl spamming, whether it's talking to a friend on Discord or just watching a TV series or something while you're doing it. It makes it a lot more entertaining and this is just something to mindlessly do while you're waiting for something else to happen basically. Maybe you're waiting for your minions or pretty much anything else. In my experience with this, you can make about 200 XP levels, maybe about mm, 170 XP levels, about 500,000 coins, assuming you get no drops, and about 
250,000 combat XP every single hour from Pearl Spam, which is really, really handy. Since you can be grinding all three of those things at the exact same time, without any RNG involved or relying on anything else. The God Potions are only 500,000 coins every 24 hours in-game, and the Cookie is only 800,000 coins every 4 real-life days. Obviously, you'll make all of that money in like 2 hours of Pearl Spamming, and then you have another multiple days before you have to pay more coins to be able to do this even longer. But uh, anyways, if you guys have enjoyed today's episode of Hypixel Skyblock, do drop a like on the video, it helps out the channel more than you could possibly imagine. And subscribe once again because we are on the road to 30,000 subs and I will not get there unless everyone, every single one of you subscribed. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.